<laughs> and that's, that's when I first met him. Of course. And he's, such a, he's an adorable guy. He's funny and nice and pleasant. Love is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Nevertheless, it's not all bad news for Pete. He suddenly found himself interested in someone else, and it hasn't even been that long since he and Kim broke up. You got that correct? Martha Stewart has gone completely uncensored in her adoration for Pete. There were allegations that the ex-SNL actor saw the lifestyle expert after breaking up with Kim Kardashian. His admirers joked that he would soon be seen with Martha, another well-known celebrity. Without hesitating, Stewart likewise waved the green flag and said, I mean, he has dated so many women. No, I'm not saying that's bad. I think that's good, and he's sort of cute. I know him. He was on the Justin Bieber roast with me. Do you remember? He was this little twerp. He was even twerpier than Bieber. Despite Barrymore's agreement with Martha, she could not hold back from saying that Pete has a nick for being able to sneak in and out like that. We have no idea what she means by saying, but it appears like Martha senses a developing romance between the two. So, you may be wondering, where did it all begin? Nevertheless, in an interview with Daily Mail, Martha gushed about the benefits of her close relationship with Pete, adding, He is a charming boy who is finding his way. I've invited him to come on my podcast, and I look forward to hearing what he has to say. You know what, Martha? We are looking forward to that podcast. Quite frankly, after all, Hollywood is famous for unexpected people finding a match together as a couple. So then, let's examine some responses from online users. Among the many that stood out to us was a supporter who simply said, I'm telling y'all right now Pete Davidson and Kim are not dating, it is literally a Martha Stewart Snoop Dogg friendship. While another tweeted, at Pete Davidson SNL leaving the shallow, dysfunctional fam like the K's and dating some class who can cook and can dine without anyone around. Pete, take that sex if offered. You won't be filmed with Martha. Moans are real. We really wonder what Pete thinks about all this tea going on about him. On August 5, 2022, it was confirmed that Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson broke up after nine months of dating. Part of the reason they split was because of their busy schedules, an insider told the press. They both travel all the time, and it was hard. A romance between the two started to surface after the duo shared an on-screen kiss during Kim's Saturday Night Live appearance in October 2021. It continued to pick up steam as Kim and Pete joined the mogul sis, Kourtney Kardashian, and Travis Barker for fun-filled double dates, vacation together, and even walked some major red carpets as a couple. The two got pretty serious, Pete even inked four tattoos dedicated to Kim on himself. Now, are you gonna kiss me or not? I sure am, Jasmine. Kim Kardashian West kisses Martha Stewart would be an odd choice for the comic, but not entirely, considering his decorated dating history. The former Saturday Night Live star admitted that dating 12 women over 10 years isn't that crazy after people questioned his love life. Pete, 29, has found the attention surrounding whom he has dated confusing and explained he has met all his partners while at work, not in anyone's DMs. The comedian has dated a string of famous women who have put him in the spotlight, including Kim Kardashian, Ariana Grande, and Emily Ratajkowski. I'm in my 20s, and I've dated people. And for some reason, that's very crazy and interesting to people. I don't think it's interesting, Pete said on The Real Ones with John Burnful podcast. I've been in show business for like half my life almost, for 14 or 15 years and on a national TV show. In 12 years, I've dated 10 people. I don't think that's that crazy, but to some people, that's very interesting. That became all anyone would talk about. I'm not on Instagram. I'm not on social media. I'm not, like, flexing. You know what I mean. Pete's dating history has been in the spotlight ever since he dated fellow guy code star Carly Aquilino in 2014. The pair split in 2015, and he moved on with Larry David's daughter Cassie David from 2016 to 2018. After the relationship ended, Pete spent a whirlwind five months with Ariana Grande, to whom he proposed. The broken engagement followed brief romances with Kate Beckinsale, Margaret Qualley, Kaya Gerber, and Phoebe Dynever. He hit the spotlight again in 2021 whilst dating Kim Kardashian. Kim K, on the other hand, is reportedly looking to hit the dating scene again with a clear idea of what she wants in a partner. A source revealed to us that the entrepreneur and 42-year-old mom of four is asking friends to set her up again, and that she would love to date someone who isn't famous in Hollywood. Kim hasn't been dating but is ready again, the source said. She took a breather after Pete, but she's interested now. She would love to date someone who isn't famous in Hollywood. She thinks someone in finance would be perfect. Kim has a lot of things going on that make her happy. She would love to share it all with a partner, too, the source added. The Skims founder, who shares North, 9, Saint, 7, Chicago, 5, and Somme, 3, with ex-husband Kanye West, said recently that she isn't sure what her romantic future holds, but she is open to having more kids and potentially remarrying one day. I don't know, Kardashian told Gwyneth Paltrow on the latter's Goop podcast in December 2022 about being such a romantic. She went on to admit, I am. I 
have I have this fantasy in my head like force times a charm. It's gonna, it's gonna work out. Do you think the two stars deserve happiness away from each other? Let us know in the comments section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.